You wanna do business here in Brazil? Talk to me. I've got the tips, tricks, and know the trade. Come on down and I will show you how it's done. We are an American family of seven, living, working, and loving Brazil. Welcome to the adventures of our Brazilian life. This is awesome. I get an adrenaline rush every day that I come to work. It's a big risk, but what adventure is not a big risk? Hi, my name is Chris. I currently live in Brazil. I have a business here in the country and I'm loving it. And I am from the United States. I have my MBA with an emphasis in finance. I have a supply chain management bachelor's degree from the University of Nevada. And I currently live in Brazil, operating a business here with my family. And I'm really enjoying it. And I wanna share with you how I did it so that if you want to do it, if you want to follow in my footsteps or do something similar here in Brazil, you know the tips, you know the tricks, you, you will know the steps that I followed to make this happen. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm going to do about business. This first one is intended for foreigners who would like to do business here in Brazil. Now the first thing that you need to do, the very first thing is you need to get a CPF number, which is the personal tax identification number that is necessary to do anything here in Brazil. To get a cell phone, to get a place to live, to purchase groceries at the grocery store, to get a bank account, anything. You need a CPF number. The next thing you, you need to do is if you want to do business in Brazil, you need to get a CNPJ number, which is oftentimes referred to as CNPJ. Now this number is the business tax identification number that you need to do any type of business relations here in Brazil. This will help you open up a business account. It'll help you uh, pay taxes when you actually do have the business up and running. These two numbers are crucial. They're important before you even start any business here in Brazil. The next important step is to have legal representation in Brazil. I used a law firm in Sao Paulo. I had very good references from this law firm and so started to use them and they're very good. I'm very happy with them. After that, you also need an administrator who can sign all of your legal documents for you. They can go to the cartorio, which is a place where you can officially sign documents and it can be registered. So an administrator for your business. They can open up all the business documents for you. They can open up a bank account for you. They can have a, a legal address for you so that you can open everything up for your business. And to do all these things, to have the CNPJ, to have the CPF, to have legal uh, representation, to have an administrator, I went through a company called Costa Gili. They're out of Rio de Janeiro. I was very happy with them. They're professionals. They know how to get the job done. They know how to do everything. And they will lead you and they'll guide you and show you the way on how to open up a business and live here in Brazil. If you try and do this on your own, it may be very difficult. It may be nearly impossible to do it without somebody who knows what they're doing. There's a lot of bureaucracy in Brazil and you need to have somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. Costa Gili, I'll link their information in the bio. Just check the description and you can see who they are. The legal representation is going to help you set up your contrato social. The social business contract is a requirement in order for you to do any type of business here in Brazil. When you have contracts, when you go to lease a building, one of the documents they're going to ask you for is your contrato social. And this is the document that the legal representation is going to help you put together so that you can do business in Brazil. It's going to take between four to six months to start up a business here in Brazil. But be patient because it's worth it in the end. Right now, we're very happy with the way our business is running here in Brazil. Another key point of information on doing business here in Brazil. Brazil has high import tariffs. Anything that you bring into the country from another country, they're gonna charge you a high tax to bring them, the, whatever it is, into the country. So just as a point of information, high taxes. But the good thing about that is, it keeps a lot of the competitors outside of the country. Once you're in the country, you have less competition. The, the barriers to entry 
into the market are very high. It's well worth it to jump over those hurdles in the beginning so that you can have a good business here in Brazil. Another very important thing to do when you're importing materials into Brazil is you're gonna need to hire and find a freight forwarder. They're gonna know all the bureaucratic ins and outs of how to bring materials into the country. I used a company called HC Logistica. I found them here in Salvador. They're a very good company. But if you want to find another company that you rely on or, or are comfortable with, go ahead, find, find your own freight forwarder. But they are very, very important when you bring materials into the country. And I will link their information in the description below. We moved our family from the United States to Brazil. We wanted to experience culture. Brazil is rich in culture. We wanted our children to be bilingual. We wanted them to learn Portuguese and they speak Portuguese. It's a beautiful thing. And do, having our business here in Brazil is wonderful. Uh, it's great to mingle and interact with Brazilians here in Salvador. We love it. We opened up a trampoline park in Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. This trampoline park is great. It's been well received by the people here in Salvador. It's great to take our kids to work with us. It's a great family friendly environment and it's successful. We're doing great here in Brazil with this, uh, with this trampoline park and we love it. This is going to be a series about doing business in Brazil. We wanna know what questions, what ideas you may have. So please subscribe to our channel. Please put your comments below and let us know what you think about doing business here in Brazil.